Are you ready? I'm ready. Hey again, this is Ryan from the Kilowatts. This week we've got both a Performance Model 3 and a Performance Model Y, and we're gonna test their range, handling, and acceleration. Let's get started. If you watched our video last week with two Model Ys, you'll know how this goes. We're gonna test uh, the Model Y first on this section of S's, and then we'll jump in the Model 3. Oh, I love how this handles. That's really smooth and tight to the road. Amazing for a compact SUV. All right, let's jump in the uh, Performance Model 3 and see how it handles the same section of road. Now we're in the uh, Performance Model 3 with the uh, track-ready wheels. And this car, let me tell you, I'm the limitation here, not the car. Just, it is glued. The Model Y is a sports-oriented compact SUV. This, this is a sports car. This handles these S's like it's no problem at all. <laughs> it's really fun. You ready to go? Good eye. All right, my foot's on the accelerator. Ready to go in three, two, one, go. In the Performance Model 3, we're consuming energy at 264 watt hours per mile. And in the Model Y, we're consuming energy at 285 watt hours per mile. All right, that's it for Kettleman City. We've gotten a full charge back on the Performance Model 3 and on the Performance Model Y. We've seen about a 5% difference so far where the Performance Model 3 is doing better than the Model Y, and we'll see if that continues on our way back to San Francisco. All right, 204 miles, we go. All right, at the conclusion of our efficiency test, the Model 3 is proving to be about 5% more efficient with its range. So what did we learn? Well, as expected, the Performance Model 3 accelerates hard and handles really, really well but the Performance Model Y wasn't any slouch. It was right up there with the Performance 3. Uh, honestly, if I had to pick between the two, I prefer the extra space that the Model Y gives me, but at the end of the day, it's your decision. Best of luck, and thanks for watching the Kilowatts.